Hey, welcome back to the show. It has been such a cold winter this year. We really needed something to cheer us up. He's a ray of sunshine all on his own, but today, Master Gardener Cisco Morris also has the bright and cherry plants to fill our garden pots. Yeah, you betcha. I love these. We call them color bowls where I'm from. Oh, ah, okay. Because you stick them in a big bowl and you add all this color, but they're so bit beautiful. Uh, it might still be too cold to plant most annuals, but why do you suggest doing this now? Well, you know, that's just the thing. We've been through this such a cold winter. We yes. need something to cheer us up, you know? Yes, we do. Because <laughs> not everyone can have Cisco every day, so you need plants. Um, let's get started. What type okay. of pot first? This is a beautiful giant ceramic pot. Like, why is the pot important? Yeah, well, you know, this thing was sitting in the garage doing nothing. Yeah. And I thought, why let a beautiful pot sit there? Why not use that to cheer up the doorway? So I'm going to put this baby right in the yes. entrance to our house. And I love that. Okay, so we better do a good job so Mary doesn't get mad at yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, we better. Um... <laughs> Let's start. Let's talk dirty. Okay. And by dirty, I mean dirt. What kind of dirt do we use in here? Buy the best potting soil they got at the nursery. The Don't skimp. I never skimp on potting soil, no okay. matter what. So, uh, if, you know, years ago, I asked at all my favorite nurseries, what's your favorite potting soil? Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, each nursery seems to have their favorite. So whatever their favorite is, okay. that's what I use. Ask for advice. So what order do we plant in? I mean, do we, because this is where I always struggle, because I get in there and I'm like, I feel like I'm shoving things in. Do we start from like the outside or we start from the center and go out, which is what I would do? Well, I usually start from the center and go out. Okay. But uh, I bought like 280 more plants and we're going to be able to fit in there, but that's, that's all right. So maybe we should put this guy in the back. This one? And then, yeah. This so, one in the back? Yeah. Like back here? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to do this? Yeah. No, go for you it. You trust me? I trust you. I mean, it's 100%. only it's been three years of his tutelage. <laughs> I better I better not I, mess up now. Good job how you're breaking that up. You know what I do a lot? Hmm. I take them and I go. Oh. Okay. And by doing that, it breaks squish, those roots up so they'll come out. You squish the tweedle out of them. Yeah. Okay. And so you just you dig a little hole right yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I feel like this is like my master uh, final here. This is this a guy. ranunculus. Some people call it buttercup family. It's in the buttercup uh, oh. family. And look at it, it's got all those Ooh, buds. So this is going to keep opening up for a long time. It's beautiful, this ranunculus. Okay, what's next? Okay, I think we should use uh, some of these uh, hyacinth. hyacinths. Okay. And you know what's oh. so cool? Think how good it's going to smell. That's so good. When these, people walk up to the front door, these oh, are like la, la. Easter on, on a plant. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do your oh, yeah, a little. Oops. Ah! Whoa, this be okay. Let's yeah, you're still in part quick. two. I did, yeah. So uh, how close do you get them? Well, you know what? We don't have a lot of room here. <laughs> you just shove them right in. <laughs> Maybe only two in there. I don't know if okay. we could get right. that third. Now we need some color. Here. Yeah, we need the color. So. Uh, I think this uh, yellow one can just be a blast. Uh, this one? Yeah. What kind of and plant is this? This is a pansy, mm -hmm. which I, I love pansies. These it always remind be, me of Alice in Wonderland, you know, where the pansies oh, are made. Oh, yeah, and it can be freezing out. And the thing is, even when it's freezing out, they just flatten out the neck. As soon as it gets 40 degrees, boop, up okay. they come. And look at look at the boo-boo I made. What did you do? I bought this, but it was all buds, nothing was open. This color is not going to go. That one, well, I thought it was oh. that color. That happens so when you go to the now? nursery. Well, you know, we just, uh, we'll just, um, well, let's cram a blue one. You Look at that. I yeah. mean, we got yellow. This is not the same yellow, but it could coordinate. Yeah, well, I think because okay. that's got yellow in it. Okay, I think that'll okay, look cool safe. there. Everything's going to be okay. No, no uh, guts, you, no glory, you know. No guts, no glory. Hey, you also mentioned um, cold and yeah. how they'll pop right back up. Like, we, we probably have a few cold nights left. So will it ruin our pots or is it? You no, know, what's the deal? Should we bring it inside for the night? What do you think? You know what the thing is? These are all plants that can take cold really well. They can. Yep. And okay. when you go to nursery, if they're all sitting out every night, they, they have they become acclimated to the cold. Okay. This is getting kind of cool looking. It is. Can it? we put something in between these two back here? Yeah. Or no? How about if we stick this sweet okay. alyssum? 
Yeah, oh, smell that. Oh, I love that Ooh, smell. It's like I, that reminds me of childhood right there. I love Ooh, that smell. Yeah. How long will a container like this look good? Well, because you know, sometimes I feel like after a while it starts looking a little like <laughs> a little. <laughs> that's the real question. You know, how how long is this gonna look good? I, you know, I tried to find uh, hyacinths that weren't too open yet, mm -hmm. ones with lots of buds. I, all I want this to do is keep going till Mother's Day. Uh, if it okay. can do that, then I'll replace, you know, with then other you'll feel annuals. Happy with it. And uh, is there any, do we got any room in the I mean, front maybe for this? over here. Yeah. Okay, yeah, um, so yeah, here we go. I thought something was really funny when producer Susie I, <laughs> told me, you like to add uh, a little bit of fun to a pot like this this time of year. Oh, yeah. In a way that I think is just so truly Cisco. What <laughs> do you do? Gotta stick some peeps in there. <laughs> uh, so you just, you get a little Easter peeps. Yeah. It, they're, they're clearly not going to uh, melt because it's too cold outside. I hope not, because uh, um, even even when I was sticking the peeps on this, I was covered with marshmallow. Oh, yeah. Here, this guy's got a little one. Oh, here. Uh, yeah. So apparently, a few years ago, you had a big surprise one day when um, yeah, look at you that. got my peeps. front garden. I wake up in the morning and this is what I see out <laughs> my front garden. <laughs> who did that? I'm still trying you to still figure it out. You still don't know who peeped you? Yeah. And, and, and that brave thing to do to peep Cisco's garden. King Five came out and did filmed we? them doing it, so they were in on the oh. whole thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't, and they never caught the perpetrator, the peepetrator? No, they never got the peepetrators. <laughs> We will find this mystery out. If you know, let us know. That's right. I'm still looking for you guys. Watch out. This looks beautiful, Cisco. I think Mary is going to love it. She'll be proud of us. Thank cool. you so much, my oh, friend. Too fun. Oh, all right. Well,